All right, here we go. Let's keep moving on. We got two more to go for you. Uh, listen, this last name, when it comes to hockey circles, especially in St. Louis, doesn't need any more introduction. But I did get a kick out of when you learned that you played for a team called the Maple Video Spiders. I don't know what a video spider is, but it sounds a lot safer. Or an Afton Alligator. You know that right now you could still get into the XFL game and they could use you to help name some teams as they come into town. But uh, again, you, you don't talk about amateur hockey in St. Louis without this being one of the names in it. And uh, congratulations, Jim Jiasen, and welcome to the St. Louis Amateur Hockey Hall of Fame. First of all, Basil, we have to clarify something. Um, you. Um, you're, you're much faster than you're giving yourself credit. Because in training camp, I don't know what I did, but he was really mad at me. And you caught me, right? You're saying I'm fast, but you caught me, and you told me if I ever did that again, you were going to spear me in the face. <laughs> so, yeah. so you, you, had, you had pretty good wheels. But uh, all, all kidding aside, um, I'd like to thank Scott Rupp and the Board of Directors of the Hall of Fame for their support and their efforts and my nomination. I'd also like to say that I, I wish John Ferraro was here tonight. Um, I met John when I was about nine years old. He became a good friend and he was a passionate ambassador of not only the Blues alumni but the Hall of Fame. I'd also like to congratulate my fellow inductees and just say I'm honored to, to share this evening with you. Um, I'm thrilled to have my wife and all my kids here. Uh, some of them travel back from college to attend. I also have friends, family, colleagues, former teammates that have traveled and have taken time out of busy schedules to be here this evening. Um, I was very fortunate to be able to live my dream of playing college hockey, being drafted in the NHL, and playing on two U.S. national teams. However, some of those or all of those accomplishments would have not been possible for a, a number of people and their support and encouragement. Um, my parents were extremely supportive, especially in a time where we were really exploring uncharted waters as it relates to uh, achieving ho hockey success outside of St. Louis. And yeah, I wish my dad was here to see this, but fortunately my mom is here and can see the culmination of her and my father's support and encouragement. Uh, to the many people associated with Afton, I grew up playing at Afton. It was a great place to be a rink rat. I had a great older brother who took me everywhere. And that allowed me to be at the rink. Uh, I was stick boy for the Afton Junior B Americans. Matt Buha was the coach then, and he would let me practice with the team when I was like 10 or 11 years old. These guys were you know, 18, 19, 20. Um, Frank Runko and Bob Pock were my coaches, my main coaches at Afton. And Doc Runko made it abundantly clear that you know, being a, a pretty good hockey player, but a good student would open many doors for you later on in life. And Mr. Jost and Dave Staub, it seemed like every year they had the lobby for me to move up and play with the 1970 birthers. I'm, I'm a 71, but I played with the 70s most of my life. Um, when I was 16, I, I left St. Louis and I went to Culver Academy, which irrevocably changed my life. Culver was becoming one of the top prep programs in the country. It's a program that was created by board member Jim Henderson and the great coach, mentor, and teacher Al Clark, and it's a very special place because it allows you to maximize your potential as an athlete, but also as a student. And the, re the relationships and the friendships there last a lifetime. I have two of my former teammates that traveled to be here tonight for this event. Um, while I was at Culver, I actually met Pierre McGuire. I think everyone, a lot of people know Pierre. Pierre was actually the assistant coach of St. Lawrence University and convinced me to visit this school in upstate New York. And he and Paul Flanagan were the great assistant coaches to the head coach, Joe Marsh. Joe Marsh built the program at St. Lawrence, and he did it by being completely upfront and honest with his players. He was passionate, and he was intense. He'd let you know about making mistakes, but he would also be 
the first one to give you a big bear hug for a goal or a great play. And, you know, we had a, we had a lot of teams there with an abundance of talent. And sometimes those can be difficult to manage and coach, but Joe had this unique ability to get us to play for each other. What I, th what I think he didn't know was we played for him. He was truly a player's coach. Um, while I was at Culver and, and St. Lawrence, I had the privilege of playing on the U-17 and U-18 U.S. national team. Uh, it was coached by the longtime University of Minnesota coach, Doug Woog. And Doug Woog made me feel very welcome on a team where most of the guys were from Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Boston. Um, and I was, you know, the only kid from St. Louis. I, I think it's safe to say that St. Louis hockey has come a long way since then. Um, and then to the many people of the St. Louis Blues, first of all, is there a better person in the world than Bruce Affleck? Um, <laughs> Bruce took an interest in me when I was about 17 years old and has consistently made me feel part of the Blues family. Doug Wickenheiser, a great player, but a better friend. He, can, he convinced me that I could still play. And Ron Caron gave me a second chance to pursue my dream. Uh, to the St. Louis Junior Blues, um, Mr. Jost and his family have run that program for years and have uh, eased out over the last few years, but they ran a first-class operation. And Mr. Jost gave me the opportunity to coach the Junior Blues when I was 24 years old. And I'd like to say this to my former players, many of them are here tonight. The heartfelt words and kind thoughts that have been in your emails and text over the last few months are quite humbling and demonstrate that I meant more to all of you than just wins and losses. And I really, truly appreciate it. Thank you. To my wife, who did not come from a hockey family, she really embraced the hockey way of life and allowed our children to pursue their dreams. And we have many fond memories as a family watching our kids play hockey and field hockey. Finally, I'd like to say I'm humbled and honored to be a member of the St. Louis Hockey Hall of Fame and truly appreciate your attendance. Thank you.